I think people want to be rich. Every mainstream rapper talks about being rich and all they had to do was perpetuate a culture of excess and non-utilitarian things and then BAM! Some record executive will give you riches and riches bring you bitches and status and respect and power and sure it can't buy love but it can buy all the substitutes to love like the splendor of love but with your riches means somebody else remains poor and if you're a mainstream rapper it could be someone that tried to shoot you or or rob you or it could just be someone that called you fat in middle school but what if there was an economic system that didn't have the inherent flaws of poverty, scarcity, and wasn't a detriment to public health? Jacques Fresco, an architect, designer, and inventor, proposed we'd look into resource-based economics back in the 70s. This is an economy not based in money, but rather allocating and accounting for the resources and their availability. Picture an island somewhere in the South Pacific, and you want to know, you really want to know, how many people can that island support, and to what degree can the extravagance of the island be maintained. First, you have to know how much wood there is, how much water, how much arable land. Once you do a survey of the resources of that island, that can best be the method for determining how many people will support. If the materials do not exist, you can only design a culture based upon the materials that do exist. You can only grow food based upon the arable land area and the water surrounding the island, the fish, crustaceans, all the other things. And if you have an ag agronomist on your island, or a series of them, they can advise you as what is best to grow in that tropical region. So you really need technical competence in order to arrive at decisions that make sense. You know, basing an economy in what's real instead of an invisible hand that's been reaching up Mother Earth's skirt even though she said no a bunch of times and has even given you swine flu. Capitalism is a persistent little predator.